Hello my little lovies! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are grubbing down on some yummy chipotle. You already know we're still doing clean eating. We're doing a week of it so today will be the last day. You know I have to cleanse my system, get it right and I want to please everyone, do a little bit of everything. Junk food, healthy food, do it all. But yeah, I got a salad from Chipotle and I got uh, chicken and steak. Really, this doesn't really look like a salad. It looks all like all the sides except for lettuce. Um, I got the tomato sauce, salsa. Um, I got the medium spicy sauce. Uh, what else did I get? Fajita veggies, cheese, guacamole. And I think that's it. I added extra um, lettuce because they barely gave me any, which I don't know why they're cheap with it because I would actually want to give you more lettuce. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. So I added some spinach and um, arugula and that sort of mix into it. And I have the salad dressing on the side um i don't i i don't really put the salad dressing because i feel like with the sauce and the tomato and everything it creates its own dressing but sometimes i do like the taste of it just a little bit um but most of the time i really don't put it but we'll see how i feel and then of course i'm drinking some ice water but yeah let's get it in because you already know your girl is starving I'm not gonna lie, when I was at Chipotle, I love their, um, what do you call that? Mmm. <laughs> their chips. Their tortilla chips. And I was so tempted to get some. But I was like, uh-uh, mm -mm -mm. You could tell which lettuce I added in because it's so big. <laughs> but yeah, how is all you doing? How is all you doing? That doesn't even make sense. Like, what? When I'm hungry, I don't even make sense. How are all you doing? That's what I meant to say. By the time you guys see this, it's going to be Friday, so TGIF! Happy Friday! Everyone loves them a Friday. What is everyone doing this weekend? It's supposed to be a gorgeous weekend. Comment down below what you guys are doing. I hope you guys are doing something fun. I splattered. I hope you guys are doing something fun. Going out, going to the pool, going to the beach, enjoying the beautiful weather it's supposed to be well if you're in new york <laughs> i don't know elsewhere sorry oh i love chipotle like they never fail me it's so bomb Mm. Mm -mm. So, today, say, we are getting into a very controversial topic. Not like, oh my god, so serious, but 
we are going to talk about opposite sex best friend. Or opposite sex friends, period. But mainly best friends. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine. I'm not going to say their name. But she was telling me about her boyfriend and how she doesn't allow him having a girl best friend. Now, I'm using her words because I don't believe in like allowing because we're all our own person. Ain't nobody need permission to do nothing. Okay? Almost, you're like under 18 and living under your parents' roof. Then, yeah, you need their permission. But when you have in a relationship, I don't believe in that. Like, oh, they don't allow me. Now. 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 We're not in the freaking 1800s. All right? Now. But. And I asked her why. So, she's like, well, I just know how girls are and I want my mind around now. Now I get it. Some girls out there um not only girls Men, there's some women and men out there who don't respect people who are in relationships. Perfectly understandable. Well, not understandable, but it's human. It's just out there, you know? We have to deal with it. There are such things as side chicks and side guys. So... It happens. But. I believe. It is up to your partner. To put a stop to it. Now if they don't put a stop to it. They don't respect you. And your first priority. And your first problem is your partner. Not the best friend. I'm sorry. I'll call it how it is. Uh, don't get me wrong. If something happens, yes, it's 50-50 blame. But your first priority is your partner. Why are you with someone who doesn't know the boundaries? Like, hmm. 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 So, to me, it's all about trust. I have been with someone. Now, I do have a guy best friend. So, I believe that, yeah, you can have opposite sex as a best friend. As long as you know boundaries when you're in a relationship. Meaning... How you act single and how you act in a relationship are two are different. You cannot do certain things when you're in a relationship out of respect. Not because I'm not allowed to. It's out of respect for your partner. It's just common sense. So if I go out with my guy best friend or we're hanging out in his house. And I'm all like, oh, huggy, huggy, you know, like, oh, yeah. 
and when I'm single, it's totally different. But if I was in a relationship, out of respect for my boyfriend, I wouldn't be all huggy huggy all over him just because it's not respectful. You don't act the same. Like, you have to know your boundaries. But I do know there's people who are straight up just, they don't play that. I used to date someone. One of my exes who was very, mm, what do you call it, misogynistic? And he would tell me, like, no, you, I do not believe in having a guy friend. You cannot have a guy friend. And I would ask him his reasoning. And he would tell me, because no matter what, a guy is a guy. Um, if you bend over in front of him, he will want to have sex with you. Mind you. He had a girl best friend. Double standards much? Let me sip my tea. I think so. But I do believe opposite sexes. Opposite sexes? Does that make sense? Can be friends are best friends but your best friend also has to be understanding when you get in a relationship that one you're not gonna act the same and two if he is if they are a good best friend they'll give you that space with no problems they'll respect it and they'll be like oh you know what I'm going to, you know, move to the left a little bit. Or what was this? Right? My right? Your left? Whatever. And, you know, let you do your thing with your boo and, you know, go about my business. That's if they're a good best friend. No, if they're not a good best friend, that's something different. Not everyone. But if they're your best friend, they should be good. You know what I'm saying? What the hell are you having bad friends for? <clears throat> to cause problems in your relationship? To cause problems in your life? Ain't nobody got time for that. But one thing I did tell my friend was keep your friends close and keep your enemies closer. So, um, I was like, you just might want to be friends with his best friend. Because, uh, you yeah, know? Her name. That could cause so many problems in your relationship. And let's uh, be real. If they wanted to be together, they could have been together. You weren't in the picture for all that time. Let's be honest. They're friends for a reason. Maybe they tried it and it didn't work out. It happens. Maybe they never tried it and they just clicked better as friends than anything else. That happens too. It all comes down to trust. If you do not trust the person you're with, that's your first red flag. Because why are you even with them? What, to fight all the time? Who wants to be in a relationship to fight all the time? Like, you know, 
I mean, fighting every now and then, you know, keeps the spiciness alive, but I'm just kidding. I'm like crazy side talking. But why do I fight all the time? It's annoying. But for my best friends out there. Now, when you're not in a relationship, you know, you know, what's to say you can't experiment with your best friend? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but just because your best friends, I'm not saying you can't ever fall in love or, you know. Try it out, but just make sure you go about it the right way. Don't be in a relationship and then be like, oh, let me try, you know, with my best friend when I'm in a relationship. Let me play my other spouse. It doesn't work that way. Don't cheat. Cheating's not cute. And why you even want to... I feel like cheating is a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like, you gotta keep up with lies. Keep, keeping up with lies is a lot of work. You gotta remember... What you said you did last night. If you weren't really where you said you were. You know what I'm saying? You gotta remember a whole bunch of stuff that didn't really happen because you said you were doing something else. This stuff is spicy. <laughs> I think it's just a year of veggies. My nose is running. I got some. Steak. Did I say I got half chicken, half steak? Because I felt like, you know, I needed it with my iron. Sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm jumping topics. I'm like a cat. I lose interest. I'll be jumping all over the place. But, so yeah. What I told my friend was, as long as. You see how they interact, and they're not crossing any boundaries. There should be no problem to worry about. Like, there's some girls that get so crazy because, you know, another girl comes around. And I get it. I get it. Actually, no, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I, I don't understand it. Because I've been that girl where my best friend's girlfriends have hated me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't get it. Because I don't do anything wrong. I keep my distance. Like, I'm about that drama-free life. But, yeah, man, always, always, never fails, damn it. But there's just some girls that, I guess it's insecurities. Or the fact that they don't trust their man. Or all of the above. But once again, that is not my fault. When I'm just out here living.
Why can't we just all get along? You know what I'm saying? I'm all about getting along. So, I tell my friend, you just gotta chill out, you know, chill out. Um, don't assume, because when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Get it? Get it? Get it? Ass, you, me, that's how you spell assume. <laughs> Have you guys heard that one before? So, it's all nice and home. Play it out, feel it out, you know. Dip her feet into the water. Test it out. And, um, yeah. If she sees something she doesn't like, tell her man like her. You know, that made me uncomfortable or I didn't like so-and-so or whatever. And if they change, they change it or they watch what they're doing, whatever, and they don't do it again, then they respect it and, you know, no problems. But if they don't and they still keep doing it, that's the problem. But it's... It's a case-by-case case scenario. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Mm-mm. Look at that bite. Yeah. You gotta have a show you my food when I'm done, right? Mmm. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are ride or die, I see you. I've had, I've had, huh, what was I trying to say? You guys are amazing. The love and the comments that I get on IG, on here, on Snapchat, on Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Are amazing. Who would have imagined so many of you like watching me eat and talk ish? Like, what? Oh. Well, I don't care. I don't care what's the number. Every <clears throat> single one of you, if I had five subscribers, if I had ten subscribers, if I had twenty, if I had five hundred, I'm up to. And I, I, last time I checked, six hundred something. Uh, well, you guys are bomb. Dot com. And, um, yeah, you just make your girl happy, you know? I consider you guys family. I hope you consider me family. I'm trying to respond to each and every single one of you. 
as fast as I can. Oh yeah. That was bomb.com. <coughs> All right, my little lovies. <coughs> Don't forget, give this video two big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to join the fam, fam. And until next time, remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and yummy eats. <laughs>